cyclic photophosphorylation, non-cyclic photophosphorylation. 1. Involves photosystem 1. 1. Photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 operate simultaneously. 2. Utilizes only longer wavelengths. 2. Uses both longer and shorter wavelengths. 3. Electron moves in cyclic manner. 3. Electrons move in Z scheme. 4. Photolysis of water does not take place. 4. Photolysis of water results in liberation of O2. 5. ATP is synthesized at two places. 5. ATP is synthesized at one place. 6. NADP is not reduced. So CO2 assimilation is retorted. 6. NADP is reduced to NADPH plus H plus and is used in CO2 assimilation. 7. Example, bacteria and algae. 7. Green plants. Chemiosmotic hypothesis. Michel proposed that the difference in the concentration of protons on either side of the membrane proton gradient is the driving force for ATP synthesis in chloroplast and mitochondria. Michel has been awarded Nobel Prize in 1978 for chemiosmotic hypothesis. During photolysis of water and oxidation of plastoquinin, protons H plus are released into the lumen of the chloroplast. Hence, the concentration of proton is greater than stroma, thus leading to proton concentration gradient. Because of this concentration difference, the protons try to move into the stroma, but thylakoid membranes are impermeable to protons, H+. However, an enzyme complex called ATP synthetase or coupling factor allows the movement of H+, through it into the stroma. Coupling factor has 1. Hydrophobic membrane bound portion called CF0 stock. 2. A part which comes out into the stroma called CF1 head. CF0 acts as proton channel. CF1 is catalytic site which synthesizes ATP. Proton gradient is important because it is the breakdown of this gradient that leads to release of energy. The gradient is broken down due to the movement of protons across the membrane to the stroma through transmembrane channel of F0 of the ATPase. It is generally considered that when 3H plus moves down the potential gradient across the coupling factor the energy released is sufficient to add one inorganic phosphate to ADP leading to the formation of ATP molecule. Thus in non-cyclic transport the six protons 6H plus transported across the coupling factor results in the synthesis of two ATP molecules. In terms of assimilatory power production, non-cyclic transport would yield one molecule of NADPH and one molecule of ATP per one molecule of water oxidized. The ATP will be used immediately in the biosynthetic reaction taking place in stroma responsible for fixing CO2 and synthesis of sugars.